The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Some, some mischief and mayhem, so that's fine with me, man. You know what? What <laughs> stays happens in, in fight, fight Club stays, stays in fight, fight Club. Club. That's right, Fight Club. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you that was. Let's a- get it on. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Yeah, Fight Club. It is a Dude, full throttle ride. I gotta say, I have never seen this one until the same a few days here. ago. And, and I, everybody that's keep sad. talking about it. Exactly. And then all of a sudden, Joaquin Finch comes out with the Joker, and everybody says, "What? It reminds him of the Fight Club. How things kicked off in the Fight Club." And I'm like, "What? Huh?" And it kind of had me on things. I thought I still haven't watched. You know what? I went to. The game store and more, Mary North Carolina. And I saw it there, and I'm like, Dale, this is what we have to do. And I'm like, dude, we're going to do this. What are we going to do? I'm going to go watch it, and we'll see what it's all about. Dude. I loved it. Oh, my gosh. I am so blown away with how they pull this movie up. I, I love it from, it's just, I mean. It's, it's almost, if you go back and you watch it, the premise is a simple premise on the sense of, this is what happens when you don't get no sleep. But, but to a big point, it's a much broader picture. Because the way, here, here's the thing I love, but the way they have it running, it's almost, you know, one character doesn't come into the picture until another character leaves, and then yeah. you see the thing, and you're like, okay, they're just, and then I'm not going to give it away. No. But I got to tell you, uh, Brad Pitt does a great job when he comes on the scene. When he comes <laughs> he's on a the psycho. Scene, he's just... He's, He's a psycho. Like, yeah. And then uh, um, Edward Norton. Norton. Oh, my gosh. This is one of the plays, best performances of his career. I mean, when I see him, and he goes in here, and he talks about all this stuff that's attached to him about the sleep, and he goes to all these different places. Yeah. To, to try so we can get some sleep. And, like, and it's got meatloaf in it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. not give yeah, that I'm part not give, You got to go see. Oh, you my gotta God. If you haven't seen Fox, you go. Because I love how because these guys, it, it's got it's, it's some good stars in it. Yeah, yeah. But Helen Bonham Carter plays the love interest. Well, she starts off as the the enemy first, and then she gets into the love. And the she interest. is so like she's pretty, but but and then she's very she can mm, be very uh, aggressive at times. I, but, I, oh yeah, and but and I, of course it's I like, I'm not used to her being. And and I like how like Brad Pitt goes up just to the edge and be like. You need to stay away from her. She's a wild woman. And it's, you know, and that's the thing. When, when I'm looking at this movie and I'm sitting there watching, I'm like, okay. Uh, uh, I mean, and then you start seeing these fights and everything. Yes. Where they're putting everything together. But now here's the thing that I got to say. Here's the thing I got to say. I, they start building up. And all of a sudden, it starts going to, you know, Tyler Durbin. 
And all of a sudden, everybody's talking about Tyler Durbin instead of him. And he's like, he wants to fight Tyler. So he's looking for a target of Tyler Durbin's. So he gets in the fight with the blonde guy. And beats the living crap out of it. But here's where it starts out. It's not for money. No. These guys are, are doing They're getting rage, rage out. They're, they're getting their rage and they're getting, instead of going to these groups where they're hugging and, 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 and saying, oh, the, these guys are actually taking all that frustration and, but they have the simple rules of if you get knocked down, you're down. You know, you don't, you got so far that you can take the fight after that, it's ended. And these guys are getting up after beating and, each and, other. And, and, and then after everything's done and, and after that night, if you see this person on the street, you don't even say a thing about it. Why? Because, because what happens, happens in Fight Club stays in Fight Club. Somebody's been talking outside of Fight Club because we have more people here than what we're supposed to have. Yes, that is what is going on. That's how popular it gets, and I, and, I can and, understand. And, and also, just the pun, and then just some of the punishment Edward Norton puts himself through. I mean, oh, and then when you find out about the punishment, actually, who's behind it? Being in room, you know what? 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 Uh, because I mean, I mean, some of the stuff that, that he does. Yeah, exactly. But now I gotta say, I got, I gotta say this for Edward Norton. When you get into it, you see this movie, you see the things that happen. What he does will blow your mind. Oh, because exactly. it's just him, yeah. and he's doing his own stuff there. And I said, like. I, Holy I, and, and and it is so crazy just the range he goes goes from in each scene and and it's just because parts of it are like a buddy buddy comedy and other parts of it are just a psychological thriller and other parts of it is like a romantic comedy and another part it's just like everything's it's, intertwined it's like and a, weaved. it's like, it's like everything and anything can be thrown in it's like a classical love hate story it, it's the closest thing to theater on screen in some ways too I mean it is like it's it, it, you know, it's Shakespeare. It's you know, uh, yeah. Because I'm actually, I'm actually buying this one here. Cause I actually like it because I like it. Because I see, like I said, so when I got into it and started watching, then after I found out the whole plot twist and everything, now I understand why everybody talks about why it's related to the Joker, where it takes you to. Exactly. And I'm like, I get it now, okay? Because yeah, because of the mental illness and stuff yes, that, that's going yes. on, and it's about time. But you know, the thing about it is where the Joker is, where they, and I'm glad that the Joker came out and talking about mental illness and stuff like that because it needs to be. People want to keep it hush hush, but that's the problem. You can't keep that hush hush. And for some, this, it should have been brought out in this as well. And for some reason, it didn't get pushed that far. It was too much based on the Fight Club because nobody really knew the Fight Club, what it was actually based on until the yeah. Joker came out. And that was, that's yeah. a shame. But other than that, I got to say, man, okay, let, let, let's do this. Five stars for entertainment. I'll give it to five. I'll give it to five. Accuracy. Accuracy, it is almost dead right on the line. There are Some people the out there like this. Going. There are people out there that are doing day-to-day -day like this. So, I mean... I mean, and not only that with the cinematics. Yeah. I mean, because they're going from from these groups and, and, and dealing with certain groups to dealing with... And, and not just the and, group, and, and, with the, men, the mental... And, and I like how... Of, they play it off so the much. House. Yeah. To the falling down house, man, where you let him cut water. Well, well, I, mean, the I, whole, I like how it goes yeah. from, like, there's that scene with him and Hellbound Carter of, you know, okay, you take this week and this, you take this this thing and this week and this week, and I'll take this one and this, this one. Week, yeah. and they're, they're, they're trying to divide <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. And, and you, don't, you don't have those. You can't go to that one. So you understand when you see it. Hey, so, hey, hey. Uh, that was, you don't have you have, you still have hair. I don't. That means I am more entitled to that than you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that, well, you understand the the, the the whole thing is it's just crazy. Uh, actually, you're laughing at sometimes some moments. You're crying, you're crying literally. Someone, I mean, there are moments. You're you're like, like, so I mean, so yeah, so it's a great movie. So I, I'm giving, like I said, a five for entertainment. I'm giving it a five for accuracy because, like I said, it goes from these groups yeah. to. Uh, to so, be on the plane, to be in the office, to yeah, a rundown yeah. house, and, and great cinematic photography as well. I mean, it goes from just that simple scene of him brushing his teeth and all of a sudden he's like, yeah, and pulls pulled out a tooth. Tooth where he's been just in a fight. You know I mean, so it's, yeah, I man, it kind of made me cringe. Like, oh, God, I remember that. Uh, so, popcorn value. We're giving it a 10. I'm giving it a 10. 
giving it his head. I just don't give it to him. Now, I, I am going to warn you, like, right off the bat, this is a little bit of a disclaimer. It does have some pretty gruesome scenes, and it can get pretty... I wouldn't let you children under the age of 10, maybe, or 11, or 12, maybe watch I would it, say right around 14, 15. But Anybody under 14, I mean, 15, watch Some movies today that get around, I mean... But I'm just going to warn you, it does get pretty It is gruesome. pretty violent. It is pretty violent. A lot of blood, cussing, uh, um, you know what uh, I mean? Yeah. Other than that, I mean... Like I said, the actual movie itself is... And wild. I mean, I even did some research on this, and there is actual, like, a lot of people who are going into the mental profession as psychiatrists things, they're meant to watch this. They actually have them watch mm. this film to kind of... There are some people out there that are like this. And I gotta say, Brad Pitt, like I said, Brad Pitt did a great job on, on uh, doing his yes, part. Yes, yes. Uh, because he was like... The good guy, one minute, the, the antagonist, the protagonist, one minute, antagonist, the next minute. Hellebond Carter did a great job with what she was doing, you know, with mm. the stuff that was going on with her, because she was looking for help, and she was, all this stuff. And then Edward Norton, with the things that he was going through, trying to deal with the stuff, that he had the problems he had. It was just, it had you, I mean, but you got to keep watching. You got to just, you got to stay with it. It's one of those you better get a. You drink and you food and sit it, down. It, it, yeah, it's like Shutter Island. Off. It's like Shutter Island. You don't want to miss a part of it. Yeah, because it does throw you off kind of So there you have it. For Fight the Fight Club. Because what? Stays in Fight Club. What goes on in Fight Club stays, stays in, in Fight, Fight Club. Club. What happens in Fight Club stays in Fight Club. Well, what happens with Skateboard Watch Time Movie Review? Doesn't stay with Skateboard Watch Time Movie Review. It goes out to you. Ooh. So, for myself, Dale McCoy. And Nick Revis. We'll see you next time. What will we be watching? We don't know. No. Because what happens in Skateboard we'll Watch Tower Movie Review? We'll Steve. eventually get to you, but we don't know right now. All right. Love, peace, and chicken grease. I will. Ah. 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 Can we stop it now, man? <laughs> <laughs>